fantastic and this is the final review for Ultimate Nutrition Pro Star that I bought from Nutribet. Uh, why is it the final review? It's the final review because I've done an unboxing, I've done a full review of mixability and taste and everything. I've been using this thing for some time but recently the lab report came in which is a great addition to our knowledge base on can you trust a brand or not and I started doing the video, I started with uh, my protein and the result was absolutely fantastic. Now uh, we're going to go to the report, we're going to go see uh, how that looks and my opinion about it. But I'll start talking about my experience about this product as um, as it is, like um, what I think about it, the way I was using it, mixability and everything, just to give you the overall idea. So. Well, we'll start with uh, some of the things that I feel about it, some different categories. So I've listed it as um, digestion or how it gets absorbed in the system. So I'd give it an awesome, awesome uh, rating on that if that's available because this product um, never gave me any bloating. It's a blend protein, by the way. It's got peptides, it's got isolate, it's got concentrate, but it's a blend protein. And, and it that didn't show a single sign of uh, gas or anything, right? So, and the other thing is that although I can't comment completely uh, by using this much of a protein, but when I do um, boxing sort of functional training, uh, I, you know, your uh, muscles over the upper body gets really sore. You do it for an hour, it gets really sore, and then um, it, it kind of shows that a protein works when you recover from that soreness. Strength buildup is difficult to tell within that short span of time, so it kind of works. Pro coming to the mixability and taste of this product, this thing mixed like anything. I mean, I showed you in the uh, full review, and you can go check it out or so. Uh, so I'd give it a full mock on the mixability, but it's too damn sweet, and it's not the case with this product. It's the case with this, and it's a Brick Brother uh, Ice Sensation 93. Both are damn sweet because the uh, primary reason is that in the ingredients list, if you go check, uh, you can see that they use sucralose at the same time they use ascorbic potassium. Both are really high on the sweetening index. I have no clue why they have both, but um, it's kind of clear that they want to make their product more tasty, more sweet, something like that. That's why probably they do this, All right? So the taste wise. It's really good to me, the chocolate smooth taste that I got in here, but it's too sweet and I don't like too sweet, all right? The place where it is like absolutely steel for an important brand like this is that it's only 45 bucks per serving and it's got 80 serving in this big tub that I got from Nutribay. So you can buy things from Amazon Lightning Deal from Cloudtel or you can buy from Nutribay, it's your choice. I'm gonna put all the links in the description. Uh, if you use the Amazon link, that helps the channel buy more supplements you know so anyway that's your choice so I, I took a median sort of a price like this tub comes sometimes at uh, 3,800, 3,900 sometimes comes at uh, 3,400 I took 3,600 to calculate this the price can vary depending on what sort of deal you get alright so coupons and things actually help a lot now uh, coming to the closure of this video and uh, talking a bit about it and I'm going to talk about the lab report. So, uh, first thing we need to understand is that I just don't randomly do lab tests of products. I put up requests that what do you think I should do? And then, um, as people ask that, uh, this one was asked too much. Uh, so, people ask that you've compared with the Ultimate Nutrition Pro Star with many brands, but you didn't review these products or review it. That's the first thing. And the second thing was um, do a lab test because uh, some people reported they got really low amount of protein in that, some people reported. Um, they got a good amount. Some people didn't have the report, so uh, they wanted a report from my side. Now, so, uh, so, so to explain how the label says, and this label is different than my protein label, all right? So if you see the my protein label, then here's the label, how it says, all right? Um, it doesn't say 83%. My protein says that it uses 80% of dry matter and that comes to 75% of as is, all right? That's a really fantastic statement. This one doesn't even say what's the percentage. What they say is similar. They say one scoop is 30 grams and that has 25 grams of protein. And calculate that, you get 83% of protein. Now, as they haven't mentioned what it is, I'll consider it as dry basis because everybody talks about dry basis only on their label. So on the label, they say 83% on dry basis. Do they say anything about as is? They don't. So how did I write it? I did a rough calculation, all right? 
So my protein, that's also an international brand, good brand. If they say that 80% to 75% is the drop for a dried who as is, I did the similar calculation here and got 6% deviation because it's 83%, just a wee bit more I did. And I came to 77%. That's my personal uh, analysis. It's not that Ultimate Nutrition has written it somewhere or I found it. If you know something, let me know. So basically I'm expecting and I'm being very hopeful uh, um, after the results of my protein that it comes bang on 77%, but a wee bit of deviation is absolutely fine because in tests that happen, right? So time to reveal their test report. And by the way, I'm gonna put the screenshot here and the link in the description. You can go check it out, the full report. They collect uh, around 140 uh, grams of protein from me and then they run the report. It takes a bit of time for it to come and it's always on the percentage basis, that is 100 grams basis. So you're gonna see the percentage here. And the other thing is that, um, why did they take 140 gram? Because in a lot of places you would see the sample size is like one scoop or two scoops. Uh, that's because uh, if you take uh, 140 gram or something higher, you know, then your variation kind of reduces. So when you have a tub like this and it kind of settles down and somewhere the concentration is more, somewhere it's less, you take more of a sample, your chances of getting close to the actual is more. So that's why they collect more. All right, let's see how much actually came up. Yahoo. So it's 75.69%. It's pretty damn close. It's not spot on. And actually, this is okay because my protein was like outstanding. I mean, I think it's unbeatable when it comes to the actual labeling and how much the test report came. But this one, uh, that report raised over the bar and I was expecting it to hit the 77 or 78% directly, but it didn't. It's 75.69. That's also pretty cool. Not bad. But um, yeah, maybe if someone, some, some of you have made a test and you think that the percentage is uh, close to this, let me know. Or if it's different, please let me know that also. Because we need to have the cumulative info, right? Not just one person's test. So, but as for this test, test, I'd say there are a few things. One is that, of course, it's bought from Nutribay, so you can buy from Nutribay. You can buy it from Amazon also because the ISO sensation I bought from Amazon, that's also genuine. But anyway, you can buy from there. It's all, it's all genuine stuff. That's one thing. The other thing that it says is that there, there could be variations, right? So next time I do the test, maybe this would go down 1%, come up a couple of percent, something like that. So those variations are there, but it shouldn't be varying too much. And the third thing is, um, because some people have asked, uh, how, how big is 75 to 80% of protein content? It's huge. See, as per some of the researches, and I'm gonna do a video on that, um, actual trials that were done on actual athletes, our body is capable of uh, kind of processed protein somewhere around 20 to 25 gram within four hours window. Now, is that something written on stone? No, but it's on the trial that was found out. So I think any protein that comes with a smaller scoop or something like 20, 25 grams of serving, I'm not serving the protein content, that's gonna be fine. So this one coming at 75%, 80% is absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, coming to, of course, you, you learn about pros and cons in the actual video that I did, but I would say uh, whether I'm gonna buy this product once again. So this is one of those products. I I never used it before in a bulk. I used a uh, couple of scoops from my friends, colleagues and stuff like that. I felt good, but there's no attachment, but I, I don't know why I, I'm kind of attached to this product. Um, Please don't come and comment that Ultimate Nutrition is paying me. I got only 1,500 subscribers. They're not gonna pay me. Even if I have one million, probably they don't pay anybody. So <laughs> that's that's out of the way. You know, I I, I was loving their Ice Sensation, but I think this is fantastic. I don't know why I love this thing. It could be the taste. It could be um, the whales after having it. Uh, Ice Sensation is a wee bit more sweet. Maybe that could be one of the reasons. But I think uh, a lot of things come into this uh, product and I feel good about it. One is the price. It's such a steal of a price that comes, right? And if you got coupon codes, that's absolutely brilliant. And then it's uh, it's got peptides as a blend. It's not just an isolate and a blend, a concentrate, because an isolate and a concentrate blend actually diminishes the cap capacity of isolate. The carbs in the concentrate, that's gonna slow down the digestion. So if you're buying on, uh, buying on blend protein because of the isolate there, that's probably, money gone gone in drain because that's not gonna work you can buy it because of higher percentage of protein 
but this one has peptides, so that's a big plus. It kind of goes in system fast, much faster than an isolated whistle. So it's a broken down chain. Uh, so I, I love this product. I don't know why. And even if I'm reviewing this, and if I get a chance in future, I'll buy this thing. I mean, even if I review other products, I'll still buy this thing because I generally don't do that. I keep on switching brands because I review products, and I will do that. But if I get a chance and I kind of I'm done with this top, I probably buy this thing once again because I just simply love this thing. Fantastic product. Whether you're gonna buy it, or you're gonna stick to some other brand in your brand, foreign brands, your call. All right, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you and I thank you a lot for spending your time watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section what else you wanna know and uh, do share this video because if you share more, uh, the channel grows, the community grows and that's what we expect. Subscribe to my channel if you feel like. Have an awesome life, folks. Ciao.